Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to make some simple watercolor sunflowers. First off, we're going to need some mixed media or watercolor paper. I'm using Canson Brand XL Mixed Media Sketchbook, 7 by 10 inches. Um, you can use mixed media, watercolor paper. I do not recommend drawing paper or printer paper because it just doesn't handle the water well. Here is my watercolor palette. Um, it is this brand. Not exactly sure how to say it. Oh my god, this off of Amazon a while ago. I think it was like 15 bucks, and I fill it with my Winsor & Newton watercolor tubes. Uh, we will need some brushes. I have White Sable brand brushes, but any brushes work. And then we have our cup of water because we are going to be using watercolors. To draw out our sunflowers to begin, we're going to just need a pencil and eraser. So let's start. I'm going to start by making a small circle on my page. And then we're going to begin making some pretty small petals. You can do them spaced away from one another. Um, so that we can end up putting some dimensionality in there. So then fill in those empty gaps with some petals. For this, I think I'm going to go ahead and do an outline with my Micron pen. Um, I'm using a number three Micron and I'm going to loosely outline obviously I know that was a circle but I like to make my centers a little bit squiggly it's up to you um, and then I'm going to go ahead and outline my petals you notice some of the petals are behind others so we'll make sure to accentuate those Your outlining does not need to be perfect. I'm gonna wait a second or two and then I'm gonna go ahead and use my eraser to erase my pencil marks. Hopefully the micron doesn't smudge. I recommend waiting at least a minute or so after using your pencil and micron to erase those lines because you may smudge that, that micron that hasn't dried yet. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my larger um, brush that I am using. It's about a medium size, a number two white sable. And I'm going to use some cadmium yellow to fill in these petals. I'm going for some loose painting so it does not need to be perfect. I'm not making sure I stay in the lines. Um, I think it gives a little bit of a rustic look to it when you're a little bit outside of the lines. But it's up to you. You could totally shoot for getting them all inside of those lines. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our light brown color and we are going to just dab inside the middle. And you can even go a little bit darker than that. I'm going to let that dry for like just a couple of seconds. Um, you could blow on it to make it dry faster, but before we add our second layer, we want that first layer to dry. You also can step away for a second, go make yourself a cup of tea. Um, go use the bathroom, whatever you need to do. Just wait a little bit for this flower to dry because you do not want to add on top of that wet paint. Um, if you add on top of that wet paint, then it will just become a little bit muddy, which is, is if that is what you're going for, then by all means. But um, what I'm going for is to be able to treat each of these petals as individuals and not have them super mixed together. So I waited a little bit. Um, I recommend waiting just a little bit longer. Um, I just want to get to it and show you guys how I do this. So we're going to grab one of our darker yellows and we're just going to start making some lines inside of our petals. 
the ones that seem to be behind those petals, I like to make a little bit darker. That was maybe a little bit too dark. So now we just got to blend it. And a little bit of watercolor goes a long way, everyone, just so you know. And we're painting very loosely here. Like I said, we're not shooting for perfection. Um, I like a little bit more of a rustic look to it. So I like to do about two layers for my sunflowers. If you want to go ahead after this layer and do some more, then that is totally okay with me. I think that these sunflowers are perfect for greeting cards, for visual journaling, whatever endeavor you may be going into. Um, try these sunflowers out. Let me know how it goes. And thank you so much for watching.